Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and I'm back with another unboxing video for you. Today I have in another one of the Fantasy Crates, which if you guys don't know what Fantasy Crate is, it's a subscription service for Magic the Gathering where you pay a monthly fee and each month you receive a package. We actually have two of them here uh, that we are going to open on up. They are likely going to be the different packages that they have for this month. They usually have like a drafter's uh, package that you just get a bunch of booster packs and some extra stuff and then there's an actual themed one that you get so we'll take a look at what they actually are uh, but yeah all of the information for fantasy crate is down in the description below you guys can click on some links and find out for yourself if you want to actually subscribe but we are gonna open these on up so first and foremost let's get this one open so we'll move this one off a little bit to the side so it's not completely in the way so what do we have here? We have a play mat to start. All right. That is really sick, actually. That's really awesome. So we have a really, really sweet Eldrazi play mat. That's super sweet, actually. I'm happy about that. All right, so we have a play mat, and it still smells fresh. I know you guys can't smell it, obviously, but it smells like it was just printed. And what else do we have? We have some boosters of Magic Origins. So the Playmat MSRP around 30 bucks. Yeah, custom printing is pretty expensive. I agree with that. They pay roughly 17.90. And the three Magic Packs, we actually have four here. Uh, 12 bucks, which actually would be 16. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, the MSRP is that that much for them. They're four dollars a piece. So uh, yeah, we have boosters and we have the playmat, which is actually pretty sweet. Not a whole bunch of stuff, but the playmat actually is pretty awesome. And playmats are somewhat expensive, especially if you get them custom printed. Uh, it just depends on your personal preference on what you're actually receiving out of one of these types of uh, package deals. All right, so that's the first one. Get the packs over there. Uh, now to open up the second one. So what do we actually have in this one? So move that off to the side. We have Hyper Matte Blues. Very awesome. I love KMC sleeves. We have the packing slip. We have some more packs. And is that it? That is it. All right. So, what do we have? We have six Magic the Gathering packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there are six there. Uh, $24, they pay $13.02 for them. And the Hypermat sleeves, MSRP, 11 bucks, they pay $6.75 for them. Yeah, and that sounds about right. Um, most places have the Hypermats for like somewhere around $10. I think we sell them for nine dollars or something like that at our shop but i don't remember either way uh hypermats are really awesome i love hypermats so we'll actually take a look at the packs here crack them open and we will see just what we have inside here so not a whole lot of uh actual stuff to open other than the booster packs but still awesome nonetheless so uh let's actually take a look at it all right Touch of Moonglove, Subterranean Scouts, Acroan Jailer, Dark Dabbling, Titanic Growth, Disperse, Orchard Spirits, Send to Sleep, Night of, Pilgrim, Night of the Pilgrim's Road, if I can talk today, Unholy Hunger, Send to Cars Incarnates, Consecrated by Blood, uh, Jamide Tome, and Hangerback Walker. There we go. That's what I'm talking about for rares. Ah, uh, Hangerback Walker is insane. Uh, mountain and a tip card. So we'll put our rares over there on the play map. Put the rest of the cards over there. Yeah, Hangerback is insane. The card's gonna be uh, a pretty big deal as far as uh, next format is concerned. Battle for Zendikar. A Grown Surgeant, Yoked Ox, Catacomb Slug, Farika's Disciple, Disperse, Lightning Javelin, Shambling Ghoul, uh, Calculated Dismissal, Rock Smallers, Heavy Infantry, Tormented Thoughts, Throwing Knife, Thopter Engineer, which is an awesome uncommon, and Outland Colossus is our rare. So, 6-6, six, 4-5 six, guy, Renowned 6, can't be blocked by more than one creature. 
So planes and zombie. Very cool. It's always a great day anytime I pull a hanger back walker, but a Jace would be even more nice. Uh, so we have another Akron Jailer here, Thornbow Archer, Cobble Brutes, Enshrouding Mist, Negate, Freaka's Disciple, Leaf Glider, Alchemist's File, Ring Warden Owl, Bellows Lizard, Warhorn, Totem Guy Heart Beast, Anchor to the Aether, and Starfield of Nyx as another one of our rares here, and it is a mythic. So enchantment, five costs at the beginning of your upkeep. You may return target enchantment from your graveyard to the battlefield. As long as you control five or more enchantments, each other non-aura enchantment you control is a creature in addition to its other types and has base power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost. And swamp and insert. All right. Yeah, Starfield's actually pretty cool. It's sad that we lose a lot of like really cool enchantments like Corsair of Grufix and Eidolon of Blossoms, but I'm sure that there's gonna be something that we can do with Starfield. Uh, Night Snare, Demolish, Elvish Visionary, Stratus Walk, Prickle Boar, Reef Soul, Dreadwaters, Rock Smallers, Kytheon's Tactics, Evolving Wilds, Sky Snare Spider, Meteorites, Rogue's Passage, and Scap Clan Berserker as our rare. So this card is just like one of my favorite cards out of the set as far as just like non-mythics go. 2-2 uh, two, two for 3, Haste Renowned. Whenever a opponent casts a non-creature spell, if it's Renowned, it deals 2 damage to that player. And Swamp, and a Inserts. That is awesome. Man, it'd be sweet if we can just pull a Jace out of here. Uh, Dragon Fodder, Yoked Ox, Deadbridge Shaman, Cobble Brutes, Titanic Growth, Topan Freeblade, Ring Warden Owl, Bogart Brutes, Knight of the Pilgrim's Road, Prism Ring, Tower Geist, Dwinan's Elite, Sword of the Al Animist as our rare here. So the sword is actually pretty sweet. Uh, equipped for two, play for two, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and whenever it attacks, you can search your library for a basic land and put it on the battlefield tapped. And we have a foil Sky Snare Spider. Man, if that was just the Jace, that'd be insane. But cool nonetheless. Uh, then we have a Swamp and another insert card. We'll actually pull the, where's the spider at? Where's he hiding? There he is. We'll just pull that out to the side too. A few more packs here. We'll try and get a little bit quicker. All right, so Aramancer, Weight of the Underworld, Infectious Bloodlust, Timberpack Wolf, Bone to Ash, Heavy Infantry, Prickle Boar, Dreadwaters, Reeve Soul, Rock Smallers, Sphinx's Tutelage, there we go. I'm actually gonna pull that one out. Uh, Foundry of the Consoles, Possessed Scab, and we have Amaharit's Archive as a, uh, another mythic here. Uh, not the most desirable one I want to say, but still a really sweet mythic nonetheless. So, Legendary Artifact, 5 cost. If you gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. And if you draw a card except the first one, you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Two mythics out of here, that's insane. Not sure how good uh, the the Turbo Fog decks are going to be anymore. Dark Dabbling, Chandra's Fury, Charging Griffin, Macabre Waltz, Fastwood Gorger, Artificer's Epiphany, Knight of the Pilgrim's Road, Unholy Hunger, Deep Sea Terror. I swear I like don't even see that card very often. Wild Instincts, uh, Patron of the Valiants, Zendikar's Royal. Uh, Sentinel of the Eternal Watch, and we have Demonic Pact as yet another mythic. This is insane. So, enchantment four costs at the beginning of your upkeep. Choose one that hasn't been chosen. You can deal four damage to target creature or player. You gain four life. Target, uh, target opponent discards two cards. You draw two cards, and you lose the game as the last one. And then we have an angel token in here as well. That is awesome. The amount of mythics that we've gotten here is just insane. Can we get more? Can we get more, please? We'll actually give away these slaves, too. Just stick around until the end. Uh, Volcanic Rambler, Mighty Leap, Stratus Walk, Fastwood Gorger, Enlightened Ascetic, Gear Poor Gear Crafter, uh, Rabid Bloodsucker, Separatist Void Mage, Reclaim, Prism Ring, 
Consecrated by Blood, Blessed Spirits, and Exquisite Firecraft. These packs are just absolute fire. Uh, sorcery speed, three cost, deals four damage to target creature or player, is uncounterable by spells or abilities with spell mastery. And a foil island, just some icing on there as well. Yeah, these packs are insane. If only we can just get an abbot out of here, too. I think that's that's what would just make me happy outside of like another mythic. Alright. Fetid Imp, a crow insurgent, yoked ox, artificer's epiphany, timber pack wolf, fairy miscreants, Nissa's pilgrimage. Uh, Enlightened Ascetic, Gearpoor Gear Crafter, Rabbit Bloodsucker, Sky Snare Spider, Chief of the Foundry, another really good uncommon, uh, Ram Roller, and Hallowed Moonlight. So another like really, really sweet card out of this set that I think is actually going to be uh, pretty awesome for sideboards for other formats. Uh, instant Speed, 2 cost, 1 and 1 white until the end of the turn. If a creature would be, uh, if a creature would enter the battlefield and if it wasn't cast, exile it instead and draw a card. And we have an Elf Warrior token in here as well. I feel like every time I want to read a card, I just want to interpret it with my own words, and then I just end up, like, stumbling over my own words. But that's okay. You guys are pretty nice. Nobody makes fun of me too bad. Uh, Night Snare, Dragon Fodder, Celestial Flare, Dark Dabbling, Freakas Disciple, Disperse, Wild Instincts, Evolving Wilds, Stalwart Aven, Guardian Automaton, Gearpoor Aether Grind, Citadel Castellan, Enthralling Victor, and what do we have? We have another Scab Clan Berserker. That is just A-OK. -okay. I'm so alright with that. And then a Plains, and then a Thopter. So, yeah, we, we pulled really, really well out of these packs. Out of 10 packs, like, these pulls were just insane. So I'm just gonna fan them out here so we have them just on the table in front of us. Yeah, like, these... These were just awesome. Even though uh, one of the mythics was uh, the archive, that's still just insane. We pulled the hanger back walker out of here as well, which is just amazing. It's like just an insane card out of this set, other than like Jace and whatnot. But uh, yeah, these pulls were just fire. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give away the uh, the mat sleeves. I have plenty of sleeves, even though I just go through them like crazy. Uh, so how you can enter. So Battle for Zendikar is coming out. Uh, let me know what you guys are excited for for Battle for Zendikar. I think that's actually what I used in the last one, but it doesn't matter. Just tell me what you guys are excited for now. Like, the set's entirely spoiled. We all know what's going to be in the set itself. And, uh, yeah, overall, what you're excited for out of Battle for Zendikar. Leave it as a comment down in the comments below. Also, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. And yeah, we're gonna give away some sleeves and have somebody be able to sleeve up their brand new Battle for Zendikar deck. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace out.